Browns will start training camp uh, about five weeks, and they will start it on the road, if you will. They'll head to Greenbrier in West Virginia. Kevin Stefanski on the Rich Eisen Show talked about the decision to take it on the road. We're fortunate that we get to play in that Hall of Fame game and we get to honor Joe Thomas uh, throughout that week. And what that that extra week gave us was a longer runway into the season. And I just felt that since we don't go away for camp, since we're in Berea, uh, once we get there for training camp and throughout the season, I thought it was good, could be a good opportunity just to get away. And, uh, you know, going to be away, I think, for eight nights. And the Greenbrier is a place that has hosted teams before. Uh, I just thought with this longer time, Let's get away. Let's get out of town. Let's go somewhere where cell service is really, really bad. And let's go practice. And, and, you know, just putting people under the same roof, that that kind of achieves a bunch of team bonding, period. That in the old days, as you know, camp would go from about 6.30 a.m. to about 10 p.m. Right. You can't do that anymore within the time frame. So guys are leaving the building at, call it, 7 or so, and they're going back to their families. Well, now's an opportunity for just eight nights. It's not like it's two months' worth of it, but can we get away uh, together under one roof figuratively uh, and, and come together as a team while you're working, while, while you're really putting in that work? Tim, I think the best thing is there hasn't been any goofy distractions so far um, in the offseason, and, and that's a different thing for Kevin Stefanski. He had COVID the first couple of years. He had the whole Deshaun Watson thing. I like the idea. Let them get away. Let them figure out what they can do. Yeah, you bring up a good point that there's no overarching, you know, cloud going on with, you know, the team and whatever. Like you said, 2020 was COVID. 2021 was, you know, Baker Mayfield in his future. 2022 was what what went on with Deshaun Watson and and bringing him into Cleveland. So 2023, you know, right now it's obviously very quiet. And I think that's good for Stefanski and the Browns. And, you know, I see this trip for them, you know, going to the Green Bar to work out for week plus. That's nothing but a good thing. I mean, we've seen, you know, last season in particular, just the chemistry issues this team really had. You know, even, you know, going back 2021, they didn't quite have the chemistry that you would need a team to have. If you expect them to make a deeper on the playoffs, like you would imagine the Browns expect to do with Deshaun Watson, with the talent they've added, you know, not just this offseason, but the past couple of years, you feel like Stefanski understands the value of that chemistry and doing what it takes to, you know, make sure he gets that. I like, I like, you know, how he's joking that there's really no cell service probably in the Greenbrier. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I think it's, it's good, you know, for the Browns just to have that ability to kind of go off in their own area, do their own thing. And, you know, just kind of get that team bond and going after a week when you're kind of out on your own, almost in your, in your own isolated area, you kind of have no choice but to bond as a team and to do that early in training camp. You know that's a good that's a good potential sign for them going forward, and we'll see what kind of effect it has. 